Hi. Well, hello there. I'm up on my roof. This is the uh, kind of the secondary part of the roof. There's another big, huge array where they used to have solar panels over there, and they sliced them all off, so there's all these nubs. Looks kind of funny. And then, of course, the gazebo, which maybe you can see from here. This is a nice little secluded area. I've got some wind up here, so I love you, Earth. Give me stillness. So I decided to kind of box in to protect the microphone from the wind. Okay, I'm inspired to make this because if you've been feeling sad or depressed or alone or nervous or confused, I understand. I think a lot of people are experiencing it. I'm one of them. And there are remedies for that. And I think one of the first remedies is to be around people that you love or that, that have that love themselves. So I went to this party last night. My friend is going to Peru. My friend Zena Radner is going to Peru to be, well, to continue her studies as a shaman. And she threw a going away party over at her house. We made dinner and had a bunch of people over there. And it's the kind of people that get it. Like, because I spent a lot of time indoors in my house. And, um, you know, you can blame this or that. It's a personal choice. But sometimes I feel kind of isolated in public when I'm thinking about energy and communication. And I see other people just kind of, maybe I assume they're going about their their business and maybe don't understand how energy arcs out of you. Uh, and I do. I, I kind of love that. So to be around people like that, you know, you, you visit, like, people that take ayahuasca and plant medicines and understand the natural reaction with human a little bit on another level than like you got a job to do you got to be at work from eight to six you know it's just kind of an alien concept to me I still do it but it's not what I relish and so I've been you know I feel like oh Donald Trump's the president we have a businessman it's about money like making money and money and money and money and like that's not really what it's about it's about communication and love we don't need money to feed people we need food and we need a better uh, transportation system. Not the money. We just need to grow food. So there's a few things you can do if you're feeling down. You can work out because... And if you don't watch Joe Rogan's podcast, healthy. He's great. He's, you know, Joe Rogan. He's a comedian slash MMA announcer, fear factor host, goofball but a super smart guy and he loves to have these brilliant scientists and uh, anthropologists on his show and listen to them and he's, he's an avid learner and he made an interesting point because he you know as a as a martial artist himself he studied kickboxing and uh, jujitsu he understands that there is this natural resistance that humans need be it gravity which we're constantly resisting against or uh, some other form of like working out. So when in your mind maybe you're confused or upset or you just are unhappy with what's going on, that's resistance, that's natural. It's natural to want to, to change or to, to hate. You know, it's natural to hate certain things. It's okay to hate, but you can work it out in different ways. You can, if you really make your body resist in, in like uh, sort of like push-ups or uh, you know, isometric, exercises or, or some sort of resistance training you break it out of you and then your mind doesn't seek it out because you've already resisted it's like then you have this chance to be peaceful and that's a great way to do it is to work out another way I've noticed if you're feeling down go to the grocery store spend some time in the produce department because those smells will bring you back to your childhood hoping that you had a good childhood of some sort where you remember the smells of watermelon and fresh cut grass but more than that is the people at the grocery store or whatever, but just the people. Because if you're feeling down and you go out with an open mind and you're like, I don't want to feel down, but I feel down right now. You go out and immediately people will look at you and offer you a chance to get rid of that, to purge it. And just to be cool and, and to realize that it's okay. And if you don't do it, if you choose to, to hang on to the negativity after a few times, they'll start to look at you negatively. But you have an opportunity when you first kind of change uh, environments to, to, to just wipe it clean. And other people will help you remember that it's easy to do. You just change the way you're looking at the situation and realize how great you actually have it. That's a big way to do it. And another way is meditation and sleep. If you're ever feeling upset, you clear your mind. 
and uh, you know you get to start from zero again sleep's another kind of that but sleep's a type of meditation i think it's really about clearing the mind relaxing crying crying can help a lot sometimes i cry in my sleep i had a dream i was over at phil defranco's at Lin phil, phil and Lindsay's house a couple nights ago hanging out with their kid trey hanging out with the three of them and i was crying and crying in my dream and i wanted to cry it was very therapeutic i love you phil and Lindsay, i love you guys and trey i love you trey uh, i want you to know i'm here for you whether we speak or not speak, you know, we're here in the world together and I'm doing what I can with you. So you're not alone. I know you want to make it a better place. I do too. And it's good to be around people that can remind you of that. That's, that's really, I think the greatest message I learned yesterday or relearned, you know, you have to constantly relearn it. You can't just learn it once and then forget about it. It's, it's a constant training in your mind and re remembering how awesome it is to be around people. And I think things like this, like making videos and putting them online is a great way to remind other people or to maybe teach them for the first time that you're not alone. You are connected. We are connected with everything. Without getting too esoteric, the stones and the trees, we're connected to this stuff, these vibrations. It's connecting all of us. It's creating us, you know? So I love you human, technology, all of us together. Quite a work of art. I met these guys that are as obsessed with deflecting asteroids as I am last night too. You know, we sit around, we think about how do you protect the Earth from incoming asteroids? Well, you just gotta detect them. I think we're all on the same page, it's easy enough to do. Just get on the same page for once. Or let's just get on the same page. We're already on the same page.